Good evening, India. This is uh, Times Now. Thanks for joining us. So let's get you started with uh, breaking inputs coming in. Top sources are telling us that the cabinet meeting, which will be chaired by Prime Minister Modi, is uh, to begin shortly. Prajya Koshika will be joining us shortly, but Shivani Sharma is at Vijay Chowk. Uh, Shivani, all eyes on this cabinet meeting around uh, the speculations over what the bill could be, the historic decisions that the Prime Minister was talking about. See, Prime Minister today morning has already hinted on a big surprise. He also said that this might be a small duration session, but it is a uh, the decisions will be of historic importance. So certainly he's already hinted something big that's going to happen. And what we are learning is that 6.30 was the time that was decided for the cabinet meeting. And in some time from now, it might be starting. And what also we are learning from the sources is that this cabinet meeting might include the special bills that would be tabled in this special uh, session of the parliament it might be the woman reservation bill it might be the obc quota bill or it might be something else the speculations are still on and there's a lot of hustle around the parliament uh, over this cabinet meeting and over the special session and what would be that big historical uh, decision that the prime minister was talking about but certainly if uh, we learn and we read into the reactions that have been coming in since morning and uh, the party's reaction which are now claiming to be the champions of the women reservation will be the Congress, be the NCP. So there's uh, enough hint that this could be the possibility of a women reservation bill to be taken up in the special session of the parliament. Madhav Das Gopalakrishna, national editor, also joining us. Uh, Madhav, uh, what are you learning? Well, the cabinet meeting is about to begin and perhaps after that we'll have more clarity on which of these bills that have been speculated about. Of course, the fact that the Prime Minister himself spoke about better participation of women in our democratic process uh, this morning has fueled the speculation about whether it could be women's reservation bill that is taken up during the course of this special session. Remember, tomorrow they will be shifting to the new parliament building that's supposed to take place post 11 o'clock tomorrow. And of course, uh, in the new session, will there be uh, what will be the history that is going to be made that the Prime Minister refers to, is it going to be this women's reservation bill or is there a possibility of the OBC uh, bill or some other legislation uh, because there have been talks about other possibilities in terms of legislations as well. So all of this at the moment uh, is what sources are indicating. One thing that is very, very clear is that I've spoken to several ministers today and they've all not ruled out the possibility of uh, agenda beyond these eight bills that were discussed yesterday actually coming up for passage and discussion uh, through the course of this entire session. And therefore, it is going to be very important, very significant to see what those legislations are. We don't know for sure at the moment. Will they be revealed to the ministers, cabinet ministers, perhaps at this particular cabinet meeting? And is this cabinet meeting to look into this particular aspect? All of these are questions. All of these are speculations at this point of time. Of course, sources, though, hinting that this could be something uh, that is discussed uh, at today's meeting and, of course, uh, could come up for legislation on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, the remainder of the three days, because we are, as we all know today, of course, was to discuss 75 years of democracy of parliament and tomorrow will be devoted towards the moving from the old parliament building to the new parliament building and the new parliament building is expected to function from tomorrow so what really are we looking at in terms of uh, what this legislative agenda is that's something that we have to watch out for now okay now ministers obviously are tight-lipped madhav anything uh, that you've picked up source based because there is buzz on social media also people believe that uh, one of the things could be the the OBC bill after the Justice Rohini Committee submitted its report well, that is certainly a very distinct uh, uh, possibility. You remember that the BJP is a party in the last nine years, has been in expansion mode. Its traditional vote uh, basis, it has tried to uh, woo various communities, whether it's scheduled tribes, whether it's scheduled castes, or whether it is OBCs. And the Prime Minister himself uh, being the mascot of uh, uh, the BJP, leading that particular campaign as well as the most prominent OBC face. Now, this is something very significant uh, uh, given the fact that various political parties, it's not just the BJP, it's the Congress, various regional parties as well, uh, rely very, very heavily on the OBC vote and it's a vote that can make or break an election for different political parties as has been seen in different state and Lok Sabha elections in the past. Now, the fact is that the Prime Minister, uh, will there be some kind of an outreach from a part of the government, from the part of the Prime Minister to the OBC community? This is something that has been spoken about many a time. There is also the fact that 
that there was the EWS quota that was brought in uh, for the uh, uh, for, for, for the forward classes for, for the forward class. So will there be some kind of move uh, to actually reach out to the other backward classes as well? That's something that has been a subject of much speculation, much discussion, and certainly that's why the OBC uh, uh, aspect is also something that is not being ruled out in terms of possible legislations during the course of this entire special session. Finish. Okay, Madhav, as we speak, uh, news is coming in that ministers are uh, walking into the parliament and its building where the cabinet meeting will take place. Madhav, uh, will there be a briefing after this, as is the norm? Well, uh, Pranesh, the tradition has been that when parliament is in session, the cabinet briefings uh, uh, do, do not generally take place. It is the parliament that is informed first about uh, what the cabinet has decided. However, it remains to be seen what happens after this particular uh, uh, cabinet meeting. Uh, will there be any kind of uh, announcement made is certainly an important question. And certainly we'll have to see what transpires at this particular meeting. Of course, uh, we'll be bringing you all the latest updates, all the latest news right here on Times Now. Uh, in just about an hour and a half or so, we can expect to see information at least trickling in as to what has transpired in this meeting. Okay, stay with us. Uh, Shivani, you've been speaking to people. Uh, the date uh, that top sources are suggesting is 20th because after the puja and the ceremony in the, in the central hall, uh, the action shifts to the new parliament building and then a day later on the 20th is when the bill could be introduced. See, Pranesh, a lot of talks are happening, a lot of speculations are happening ever since this uh, special parliament session was announced. And what we are also learning through the sources is that for the shift, for the shifting, this auspicious day of Ganesh Chaturthi was uh, chosen because tomorrow is 19th and uh, tomorrow is Ganesh Chaturthi also. So this auspicious occasion was chosen. And certainly the speculations are also on that the very next day after the shifting, a big decision, the historical decision which the Prime Minister was talking about today in the parliament might take place. That would be... Uh, 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 just open after this cabinet briefing, that cabinet meeting that's going to happen because we have uh, what the, the updates we are getting is that the ministers have already started arriving for this cabinet meeting, which is a very important, crucial meeting that will take place in some time from now. And in this meeting will be decided that the, uh, the agendas that have been already listed, the bills that have been already listed. So if we need to add on to certain more bills that will be discussed, the big historical bills, will they, uh, it can be discussed that these, these are the uh, agendas and these are the bills that will be included right. in this special session of the parliament. So uh, we need to see in uh, some time from now when the meeting starts, what would be that important bill, what would be that important historical decision which the Prime Minister was hinting about. But certainly uh, there's a speculation on the dates as well and what uh, you are saying might be correct that on 20th after the shifting, that big decision can be taken in the parliament. It is that big decision. There is suspense uh, around that. Uh, Prajya Koshita also joining us over the phone line. Uh, Prajya, what is the buzz? Senate meeting is about to start. Prime Minister has just entered uh, the NXT building. He has left the parliament building to be there at the NXT building. He has just entered that. Um, Mr. Union of Minister Mr. Amish is already there. Um, Bhupen Riyadh is all, already there and all the ministers have already arrived for the cabinet briefing. So uh, this is very significant in the way that we are all expecting that there would be some uh, new bill that is not in the listed legislative agenda. Uh, as was as said by the opposition parties as well, that there could be a surprise element. And we spoke to the top uh, government sources as well. They also hinted at the fact that uh, there could be another bill apart from what has been uh, the legislative agenda told at the all-party meeting. So everyone is speculating on what that one surprise element would be, what that one agenda would be that will be okayed by the cabinet before uh, it, it will come to the parliament for introduction and the passage. Uh, everyone believes that there could be a woman reservation bill, but uh, we'll get to know only after the cabinet uh, is over. Uh, the cabinet meeting is about to start in just five Right, the opposition has uh, already started taking pot shots by saying there is some hidden agenda that we don't know about. Uh, and contrast this with what the Prime Minister said early this morning. Setting the tone for the special session, really, he said, uh, this is not the time for Rona Dhona. His no words, not mine. Uh, uh, Tom Badakar, national spokesperson of the BJP, joining us, uh, Shyam Prasad Mehta, leader of the Congress. We'll take, take a short break and return to this uh, on the other side. Please stay with Times Now. Shift from the old parliament to the new parliament, Prime Minister Modi will take a copy of the constitution from the central hall and all the MPs will follow him. Shivani.
Pranesh, this is the big update that we are getting through our sources that tomorrow when the shifting will take place from the old to the new parliament, the new tradition will be set, a tradition where for the first time India will witness how this change from the old building of the parliament to the new building is taking place and Prime Minister Narendra Modi, according to the source, he will be taking the copy of the constitution from the central hall to the new parliament and all the other MPs will be following him. So this would be happening when the takes place tomorrow on the occasion of uh, Ganesh Chaturthi also as because it was being linked to the occasion, the, cho the choosing of the date for this uh, change in the parliament from old to the new one. And now what we are getting to learn is that uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi will hold the copy of the constitution. He will move it physically with this in hand and he will be walking towards the new parliament while all the other MPs will follow him. They'll be following the Prime Minister when the copy from uh, the old bill shifts to the new parliament. So this is a big update that we are getting in between all the hustle of the cabinet meeting that is uh, just beginning in the parliament annexe where we will see that the inclusion of something additional, the surprise right. element. Let's see what happens in the in cabinet the meeting. Uh, but uh, Shivani, thanks for joining us with your inputs. Very quickly, Mr. Meka, will the Rona Dhona stop? <laughs> So there is no Rona Dona. Uh, Janta ke samne aake Rona, Prime, Prime Minister ka aadat hai. Aur uh, all the brashtachariyan ko uska washing mission se Dona, Prime Minister ka aadat hai. So don't worry about that. It's a happy occasion. Okay, whatever is it, it uh, though in spite of the secrecy and uh, all the unnecessary secrecy, we are inaugurating a new building. It's, it's, uh, it's a happy occasion. Let's all be happy with that. Okay. There is nothing uh, to fight about, uh, Mr. Vadakkan. Well, you know, uh, the problem here is Rona Dona is internal, external. Aapas may be nahi milte ye lo. Seat ka problem hai. Kaha kaha se ladenge. To Rona Dona to hai hi hai. Aur uske baad hum to kehte hai, bhai, unity karo. Unity, unified raho. Hame chahe. Hum chahte hai ki opposition party khada ho. Lekin kya kare? ये लोग रोना दोने से हटते नहीं ये कहते हैं कि भाई हम हमारा कोई कंसल्टेशन नहीं होता डिस्कशन नहीं होता जब डिस्कशन होता ये हाउस में नहीं होते अब देखिए एक चीज बड़ा साफ है कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन को लेकर पुराने पार्लियामेंट हाउस से नया हाउस में जा रहे हैं सिंबॉलिक है कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ही है हमारे आधार अभी रोना दोना बंद करिए क्योंकि कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन के बेसिस पर इस सरकार चलता है okay. चलेगा और चलते रहेगा तो आप इस पर चिंता मत करिए रोना दोना सही कहा पीएम ने कि बंद करिए भैया ये इट्स अ सेशन फॉर अमृत काल द प्राइम मिनिस्टर इज इंटेड एट हिस्टोरिक डिसीजन द कैबिनेट मीटिंग बाय द वे इज अंडर वे लेट्स यू वर्क Uh, happens here. Uh, I thank both of you gentlemen for joining us on Times Now. Madhav Das Gopala Krishnan joins you on the other side. Stay with Times Now.